So today's video, I thought we'd jump into a Jupyter Notebook and turn it into dark mode. The um, reason I wanted to make this video is because it took me a while to figure out how to do this, and I think I understand it well enough now that I can teach it. Some of you know that I'm doing data science, and so I'm spending a lot of time in Jupyter Notebooks, and I have the rest of my system set up in dark mode. So it's really distracting to come and open one of these things up and see a bright screen, white screen on, on, on my desktop here. Just a couple of things before we jump into that. Um, I am using Anaconda to use Jupyter Notebook. So if you don't have that installed, then maybe this video might not work well enough for you. I recommend installing it because if you're using Jupyter Notebooks on a regular basis, Anaconda comes with other tools that I haven't really even scratched the surface of, um, but it really makes life easier. And we'll be using an Anaconda prompt later on in the video to switch between the themes because there's more than just dark mode, as it turns out. Let's get all this FaceTime out of the way and jump right into my computer. All right, so we're here in the Jupyter Notebook. It'll look something like this as default. First thing you'll wanna do is install Jupyter themes. Next thing you want to do is if install upgrade Jupyter themes, and I forgot to do that there. Let's go ahead and run that. It's already satisfied because I've downloaded it already. And it's already satisfied here because I've already upgraded it. So you may notice that uh, the notes down here, you may want to restart the kernel to use updated package. Um, so the way to do that, I just go to kernel, restart and clear output. Yeah, go ahead. And it, sh it should have restarted. Um, the next thing I've found that you'll want to do is clear the cache from your browser. So this is where things got really difficult for me. Um, the next steps you can do in the Jupyter Notebook, but for some people, uh, depending on what browser you're using, depending on how you've had Jupyter Notebook set up, um, it doesn't always work. It didn't work for me, and I think it's because I have it through Anaconda. So what we'll have to do, this took me a while to figure out, what we'll have to do is open the Anaconda prompt and go from there. Before we do that, however, um, what we need to do is clear the cache and, and data from the browsers. For some reason, when you hold on to those and reload the Jupyter Notebook after you've switched themes, it doesn't switch it. So you wanna clear, purge the cache, sort of annoying, so I would say do this wisely. Let's open up Anaconda prompt. If you just type in JT-L, hit enter, it's gonna give you the available themes. And you can see we have Chesterish, or Chesterish here, grade three, Grovebox D, Grovebox L, Monokai, Ocean 16, One Dork, Solaris D, Solaris Dell. In order to change themes, you'll go JT dash T, and then you'll type in what you want to do. So let's do Chesterish, hit enter, and it's been um, it's been done. So next thing we'll want to do. If we close out of Anaconda prompt and open Jupyter Notebooks back up again, hit reload, um, you'll see that this is the new theme. It's pretty cool. It's in dark mode now. And you may have noticed that there are some other themes that we can play around with. So why don't we go ahead and, and try another theme? Open up Anaconda prompt again, JT-T. And let's try... Um, what should we try? One dork. Enter. It's gone through. So I've cleared my cache. I hit enter. It went through. 
but you can probably see when I close out of Anaconda, it's still the same thing. What we gotta do is reload the page. And I know this doesn't work well because I need a password or a token to get it back in, but you can see it's still a dark mode, but instead of blue, it's green. Let me um, reopen a Jupyter Notebook, restart it and see what will happen. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, it's super, super similar to uh, the last one that we did, Chester-ish. Let's try to find another light uh, light theme that's that's different. All right, let's do um, JT dash. Let's do solarized L. Oh, again, before we switch over, we got to clear the cache. So here we go. Here's the other uh, the other solarized. So that's basically it. Now let's say you've gone through all these themes and you don't actually like any of the ones uh, that you see here. So something that we can do, um, if you don't like any of these themes up here, the way to reset it is you've got to clear the cache and then type in JT-R. So well, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's get the Anaconda prompt out of the way and we're back to the regular default Jupyter Notebook. Uh, it took me a good, good while to figure that out. Uh, use Download Anaconda, use the Anaconda prompt. Uh, once it's installed, it's really good. Um, you can play around with it. Just remember to clear the cache and cookies each time, but once you've landed on something that you like, you don't have to clear it anymore. So that's, that's the, the upside to it. Well, there was another thing I was going to mention. Oh, I'm going to leave uh, more descriptions in the, leave more descriptions. I'm going to leave a link down in the description um, that so you can read the documentation on all that and dive a little bit deeper into it. But I hope that helps. Let me know in the comments if it did. And yeah, take care. Bye.